Grudge Out 1962 here, and today we're going to look into the history of the second Godzilla suit. A suit that was the first to battle another kaiju. A suit that was in a cancelled film. A suit that has some crazy history behind it. So let's get into Gyakusho Goji. In 1954, the film Gojira was released. It changed cinema forever, and yet at the time when it was released, Toho did something interesting. Seeing the success of the film, Toho quickly rushed out a sequel into production. No matter the opinion of what you think about the film, it's a wonder that the team behind the film was able to get a movie out in such a short deadline. The film came out not even a year after the original film, and yet gave us one of the most famous dynamics in film history. The idea of multiple kaiju fighting each other. And one of these kaiju, of course, is Godzilla, and the design has evolved from the previous one. Compared to Shorai Goji, Gyakushu Goji is Alina, has slimmer arms, less stumpy head, and wider spread toes. This suit was designed in a way so that it was easier to fight in combat against Angiris. Playing Godzilla is Haruo Nakajima. He returns to play the King of the Monsters, and thankfully, unlike the last suit, this one didn't give the same issues that Shorai Goji did. Gyakushu Goji has an interesting history with movies, because unlike many Godzillas after him, he doesn't have much of a history. When it came to the original Gojira, the film was later released in America with a new name and footage, and of course the same happened with this film, but it didn't go exactly as the original Gojira. When Godzilla Rage Again was released in America, everything connecting this film to the original Gojira was cut. Godzilla was renamed Gigantis, his war was replaced, and years later on the PS3 and PS4 game, Godzilla, if you look in the bio for Angiris, it tells how he fought a monster called Gigantis that has now been banished. Though America wouldn't stop screwing with this iteration of Godzilla, as they would try to make their own film called The Volcano Monsters. In this film, all connections to Godzilla and Angiris would have been cut and both monsters would have been dinosaurs. Set to be released in 1957, using special effects from Godzilla Rage Again, and new footage made in America, the film would have had a Tyrannosaurus Rex and an Ankylosaurus being found and brought back to San Francisco, but when the dinosaurs awaken, all hell breaks loose. This film was never made, and the reason is very simple. The company behind the movie ceased all operations, which led to the movie not releasing. When making the film, though, new special effects shots were needed. Sato created new suits for the film that they sent to America. These suits are something of a mystery in the fact that, due to the film not being made, the suits were unused. But instead of being shipped back to Toho, the suits have gone missing. Now they're looking similar, the two suits made for the volcano monsters do have differences to the original counterparts. When it comes to Godzilla, he has all the traits that would be seen in the next film, such as no ears, three toes, and a thicker lower body. Yakushu Goji only have appeared in one more film, that being Godzilla Final Wars. If I'm not mistaken, while showing shots from Godzilla history, this one blinking and missed shot shows Gakushu Goji. The reason I say this is that when you look at the Godzilla here, his design is slimmer, and his dorsal spines look like the Gakushu Goji iteration. And on top of that, the environment around him looks like the Godzilla Rage Again scene when Godzilla comes out of the water. Though I could easily be looking way too much into it, it's basically a one second shot. And some say that Gakushu Goji was used for when Godzilla comes out of the iceberg in King Kong vs. Godzilla. Though I couldn't find hard proof on that, though it's good to bring up just in case it's true. Other than these appearances, Gakushu Goji appeared in the video game Godzilla Battle Legends, which was released in 1993, and has a small selection of merchandise that can be bought. With the most recent as of this video's making, Bandai released a semi-remake of the original figure of the same design. With all this being said, what is the future for Gyakushu Goji? Well, it's complicated. Unlike my previous video looking at Shorai Goji, this iteration of Godzilla has a lot less history to it, and unfortunately doesn't look to have a bright future for it. Even though Bandai have released a figure based on it, they also have released a figure on Evera, but we don't see him in the next MonsterVerse film, do we? Gakushu Goji is most likely to become a Godzilla that, although known by fans, will become obscure. This is something that will happen for future designs seen in this series. But with all this being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and Gorjo1962, signing off.